in our last video of dft properties we have discussed various properties which are very important and uh, in the upcoming videos we will be discussing problems based on those properties today we will be discussing circular convolution property problem the question is by means of dft idft method determine the sequence corresponding to the circular convolution of sequences x1 of n x2 of n so you have to find the circular convolution of these two sequences but we cannot directly find the circular convolution but we have to use the dft idft method that is we have to apply the circular convolution property and what is circular convolution property it is the dft of x1 of n circular convolution x2 of n equal to x1 of k into x2 of k where x1 of k is the dft of x1 of n and x2 of k is the dft of x2 of n so the dft of x1 of n circular convolution x2 of n is the product of the two individual dfts so what will be the circular convolution result that is you have to take this dft here that is x1 of n circular convolution x2 of n is equal to idft of x1 of k into x2 of k where x1 of k and x2 of k are the dfts of x1 of n and x2 of n so that is your result x1 of n circular convolution x2 of n so i am going to find the dfts of x1 of n and x2 of n so i have uh, just kept x1 of n and x2 of n sequence i have remi uh, removed the remaining question okay so uh, first i'll find x1 of k which is the dft of x1 of n so how to find the dft you don't have to apply the equation you can use the dft matrix method so i'm going to uh, write the dft matrix which is very detailed explained in my previous video just a dft video if you don't know about this matrix just watch that video it is very simple method rather than going for the dft equation so your dft matrix is this for a four point sequence or four point input now i'm going to multiply this with my input sequence which is 2 1 2 1 so which this will give you x1 of k okay so just do matrix multiplication i'm going to write it here that is first row is 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 that is 4 plus 2 is 6 now next row 2 minus j minus 2 plus j which is 2 minus 2 is 0 minus j plus j is 0 so the result is 0 next third row into column that is 2 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 that is 4 minus 2 that is 2 last row 2 plus j minus 2 minus j again it is 0 so this is your x1 of k now i will be finding my x2 of k so x2 of k equal to again the matrix dft matrix 1 2 3 4 which is your second sequence now find the dft do simple matrix multiplication that is this row into this column that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which is your first output that is 4 plus 3 7 plus 3 is 10 10 is your first value then 1 minus 2j minus 3 plus 4j that will give you minus 2 plus 2j 
is your second value then for the third row it is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 your third value is 4 minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6 minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2 and your last value is 1 plus 2j minus 3 minus 4j and which will give you minus 2 minus 2j so this is your x2 of k now you have your x1 of k and x2 of k now i am going to take the dot product of these two vectors that is x1 of k dot product x2 of k just simply multiply the corresponding terms so 6 into 10 is 16 0 into this term is 0 again 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 and last term into 0 is 0. So this is your x1 of k dot product x2 of k. Now you have to take the IDFT of this vector which will give you your corresponding convolution, circular convolution result. So I am going to take the IDFT of my dot product value. So uh, this is my IDFT matrix. Again, if you don't know about the IDFT matrix, please go and watch my video on IDFT where I have explained the IDFT matrix for a four point sequence. Okay, so this is your uh, IDFT matrix and I'm going to uh, multiply it with my x1 of k dot product x2 of k which is 60, 0, minus 4, minus 4 and 0. And there is a uh, divide by 4 term here which is because I'm going to take my IDFT which is having a 1 by n term outside. So this is the IDFT method using the IDFT matrix. So here simply you have to do matrix multiplication and divide the result by 4. So first I'm going to take the uh, result and write here. So 60 plus 0 minus 4 plus 0. That is your first term. Then second term is 60 plus 0 plus 4 plus 0 then third is 60 plus 0 minus 4 plus 0 and the last term is 60 plus 0 plus 4 plus 0 and this term divided by 4 so simplifying your matrix you will get 60 minus 4 is I'm going to write it here we put it as a 1 by 4 here okay so uh, 60 minus 4 is 56 then 60 plus 4 is 64 again 60 minus 4 is 56 and the last value is 64 so into 1 by 4 uh, 56 divided by 4 is 14 and 64 divided by 4 is 16 so your result will be 14 16 14 and 16 so now you will check whether the result we have obtained is correct or not by applying the uh, circular convolution method that is matrix method for finding the circular convolution again if you are not familiar with this method just watch the video on circular convolution where we have discussed about two methods that is concentric circle method and also circular uh, convolution using matrix method. So uh, now we will perform matrix method because which is very simple. Okay, so I am going to do the matrix method that is first you have written your elements as a column then take the last element up and push the remaining elements down this method is very clearly explained in the previous video so please watch that video if you are not familiar with this okay into your second input so now I'm going to perform matrix multiplication and I'm going to write my result here. So that is 
2 plus 2 plus 2 into 3 is 6 plus 4. That is 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 4 is 14. So your first value is right. Then second, 1 plus 4 plus 3 plus 8. Again, 4 plus 3 is uh, 7. 7 plus 8 is 15 plus 1 is 16. Correct. Next one is 2 plus uh, 2 plus 6 plus 4. Again, it is 14. Last value is 1 plus 4 plus 3 plus 8 is again 16. So, you have obtained 14, 16, 14, 16. So, now we have also verified your result. So, this is how you have to find the circular convolution result using DFT, IDFT method. I hope this method is clear to everyone and I hope you uh, found this video useful. So, please do like this video and also share this video with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel and keep on watching. Thank you.